Welcome. Uh, that's strange because we are talking in English now, but if you doesn't understand English or doesn't like English, you will have the Spanish version too in the comments. Okay. But what is the thing? Because it's strange. Uh, Ronald and I are talking in English, but we create a, a little configuration uh, and Raul will explain more now. But basically, we have some problems in the work and we need something we don't found in any place. So Raul, welcome yeah. and it's your time. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, as you say, basically, um, we had this, uh, uh, this, this uh, uh, you know, uh, thing that we have to do at work. We, we basically have to uh, add code coverage to, to our project, uh, to uh, our Cypress, uh, projects and um, uh, at work we have a kind of kind of big uh, application we, we we have like the application and, and then we have uh, uh, several modules each module it's a library uh, in an X and and then we tested uh, each library in a separate end-to-end -end application so so we can save time and uh, money at the end on on CI and um, well the thing is uh, uh, it, we kind of struggled finding how to uh, add code coverage to to Cypress to end-to-end -end Cypress apps uh, I found plenty of information about how to do that with standalone components there are actually a couple of repositories out there that uh, work very well, but in our case, we uh, wanted to do this uh, for an end-to-end -end application. Uh, so, well, uh, after after a week of work or so, we finally uh, figured it out, and we wanted to make this uh, video to explain how how we did it. So. Um, well, maybe Jorge, you want to start sharing your screen and uh, we can explain step by step what we did. Um, so obviously the first thing that we have to do is to create uh, the, the workspace, the NX workspace. Um, uh, yeah, you can just put whatever you want there. Angular, please. <laughs> the weight more repo. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. integrated mono repo. That's uh, that's what we want. And SAS, please. Thank you. No, no standalone components in this case. And yes, we want the, the that routing. And yeah, yes, create the destroy the catch in place. And so now, uh, uh, meanwhile, it's installing dependencies. Um, we are going to, I want to explain briefly what we are going to do. What we are going to do basically is uh, we are going to install Istanbul, uh, which is this uh, very ancient library that everybody uses to generate code coverage reports. And um, what we want to do is to instrument our, uh, our application with, uh, with Istanbul and then generate the code coverage uh, when, when we run the end-to-ends. So, okay, so it finally uh, in installed everything. Now we are going to install the the, the uh, dependencies for Istanbul. Uh, it is very important. NH NGX build plus, uh, which is what we are going to use to generate the coverage uh, and use a custom uh, webpack file. Uh, just for this coverage thing and the rest is like pretty straightforward all the uh, code coverage uh, Cypress code coverage uh, libraries and the Istanbul dependencies like uh, the NNYC which is the the uh, client uh, the, the terminal client that has uh, Istanbul and of course just install everything as a uh, with save dev as a developer dependency so you you can get dirty your your <laughs> your own dependencies and uh, okay it's done that was yeah. fast i okay. will open the vs code uh yeah 
it's not the more beautiful VS Code because I never use VS Code, but it's here. But it works. It works, and that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now you you can start opening it. Uh, well, you just generate this uh, webpack uh, coverage JS in the in the in the root of the NX. Uh, uh, not not inside uh, my demo. Yeah. In in the in my the demo is the root. Huh? Oh, my demo. Yeah. Apps demo app. It's the my demo is the folder root. Okay. I open I opened okay. the wrong file. But yes. Okay. 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 Perfect. So yeah, just put there, and you have to change uh, uh, that uh, directory. So you you have to put your uh, application name. So apps slash demo app. And uh, we're doing this to uh, tell Istanbul which library we want to know the coverage. The to, which which application or library we want to uh, get the the coverage report. So Istanbul is going to do a coverage report from this demo app uh, folder. Yeah. In the case we have a library, you can just yes, exactly copy and paste. Yeah, and, and add use the library here. Yeah, exactly, perfect. Good. And um, and now you we have to update the. Uh, um, the application uh, project JSON, exactly. And we are going to add um, uh, the command that it's going to execute uh, the end-to-end -end application, but with this uh, additional Webpack coverage. And we are doing that with the NGX Build Plus uh, excellent library that uh, Manfred created. Uh, and um, yeah, just change your app directory with whatever you need. Uh, in so, this case, it's, it's, uh, it should be demo app or something like that, I guess. Demo. Yes, de demo app. Build development, and this is the web app coverage. JS is the is the is your web app coverage file. You you can name it as you want. Obviously, this is the name that that we set. Um, and um, and now we are doing uh, something similar, but for the end-to-end -end project. So uh, open up project JSON, and here inside the configurations, inside targets end-to-end -end configurations, uh, we have to add this uh, coverage. Uh, uh, you're missing a, a, a colon uh, oh, at yeah. the end of yeah, and yeah, and and there you have to. Mm, Exactly. Add your your application directory. So uh, we're going. What we are going to say here is okay. When I'm opening um, uh, this application uh, with the configuration coverage, I'm going to use the surf nx demo app end to end, which is uh, what we added before. And uh, so when we open the end to end coverage configuration. We are going to serve the app with the webpack coverage, so that it's going what it's going to instrument the the uh, the, the application files with Istanbul. And uh, the next thing it's um, we have to use uh, to add the, the code coverage Cypress plugin. Uh, so we have to import that inside uh, support. Yeah, here. You can remove that. If you you don't like it, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and this is going to import the Cypress code coverage uh, plugin that we need. Um, and uh, the last thing uh, it's to update our Cypress config TS, and that's going to be like uh, it. Uh, open up that demo app end to end, and what we are going to do here is to uh, add the, the Cypress code coverage uh, with this setup node events. Uh, this is very well documented in uh, in the Cypress website, so uh, you can just go there and uh, and uh, get more info if you need it. And that's it. If you open up now the terminal uh, and execute um, NX end to end and a, a demo slash app whatever. Yeah. Not NX dash. That's not oh, there probably. Yeah. Uh, 
next demo app and to end it's the name. It should be demo dash demo. app dash. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's without the NX dash. Yeah, perfect. And this should generate inside demo app and to end. Oh, um, sorry. In, in the in the folder. Roster. Okay. Yeah. Now. Okay. And that should, as I said, uh, that should generate inside your demo app end to end uh, directory. That should generate uh, um, some directories uh, uh, called coverage, whatever. And uh, and uh, there you should have that. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly there. Perfect. When it finishes inside the LCOF report, you will find this index.html. And if you open up that in, in, in a browser, you should see the, um, the I coverage. Will show now. Uh, let me just change the presentation. And it's here. Okay, beautiful. Um, uh, it works perfectly, even there is a part that it's not covered, which is this, uh, obviously this catch because there was not an error uh, uh, bootstrapping the application. And, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to try it by yourself, we uh, just pushed a, a repo that you can uh, fork or uh, or clone and uh, give it a try. Uh, I will highly recommend to to uh, uh, add code coverage to your code. This is something that we should have done uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a lot before, um, but you know, things happen. <laughs> yeah, and and the thing is, if you have the project, you need to start from here. No, that's all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And in the case, if you have standalone components, uh, Cypress support the standalone components too. Correct. That's so correct. that's that's the magic. Uh, and in the comments on the video, you will have the the GitHub uh, link. And the demo is it's basic because that's the idea. Yeah. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Thank you. Jorge. It's so easy when it's done. <laughs> It's so easy when it's done, and uh, but uh, we we really struggled googling. There is not a lot of information about it, uh, so I hope this thing is going to help a lot of uh, uh, you know developers that are confused and uh, they are angry because they can't find how how to do this. Uh, so I hope this yeah. uh, this uh, helps a lot of people. So enjoy your test and see you the next time. Thanks, yep. Raúl. We're recording a, a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. bye.